life moves forward in unforeseeable and dubious ways, full of paradigm shifts and twists. Today, we're going to be sharing the life-changing story of such a man in his own words. Brother Amir Junaid Mohadith, formerly named Chauncey Lamont Hawkins, was born on the 20th June of 1975 in Harlem, New York. Yes, we're talking about the hip-hop and rap artist turned Muslim. Mohadith, who worked under the stage name of Loon. Loon scored his early fame as a part of Puff Daddy's Bad Boy Records, where he did not only collaborate with some of the industry's biggest names, but also released his own self-titled debut album, named Loon. It wasn't late until the success of his music followed, and he left Bad Boy in 2004 to start his own label, Boss Up Entertainment. Loon was able to branch out into acting as well, and got featured in two movies directed by Damon Dash, Death of a Dynasty and State Property 2. But you would only think that all this fame, fabled success, and money was enough for him to live a peaceful and contained life. The lifestyle I was living, I was scattered, I was always looking for something, I was always going after that one source that could give me a little bit of gratification. For me, it was always about that one source to turn to, and as soon as I found it, I submitted. Mahadath told in an interview, Amir's early inclination towards the religion began after his life-changing visit to the city of Abu Dhabi. The prolonged exposure to the Muslim lifestyle inspired him. This is how he explained his initial attraction to Islam in an interview. I visited Abu Dhabi, Emirates capital, and that's where I felt real and true happiness for the first time. My wealth, fame, and career in music had failed to give me the happiness and tranquility I was looking for throughout my life. In Abu Dhabi, I was exposed to the Muslim lifestyle, their culture, their refined morals, and their kind treatment with people. I was astonished then and there. I deeply admired their habit of going to the mosque five times a day just to communicate with their creator. Consequently, I began to ask about the reality of this religion. I inquired if it was only exclusive for Arabs, but I soon found out that Islam treats all human beings equally without any consideration to their nationalities. So, after profound thinking and research, I announced my conversion to Islam. Soon, I returned to my home in Harlem, New York, and prayed for the first time. Shortly after having embraced Islam myself, Allah blessed me by guiding my wife and son towards Islam, and that increased my relief exponentially. During an interview, when one of the members of the audience asked him a question about his life before Islam, Amir replied, a lot of you are familiar with the ills that came with the musician life. The lifestyle that I was living in before Islam was a very sinful one. I was in a consistent cycle of sinning that was only setting me up for destruction, not just for the hereafter, but in my worldly matters as well. In another one of his interviews, Muhadith was asked, why did he choose Islam? And he dealt with this question quite beautifully. Islam is the only religion accepted by Allah. The religion of Moses was Islam. The religion of Noah was Islam. To be a Christian, you have to follow Christ. But who did Christ follow? He followed one true God. A Muslim is someone who submits to the will of Allah. When I finally realized that there can only be one true God, and only He has the power to fix everything, I didn't need anything or anyone else anymore. I'm running to that one source that's going to aid me and assist me in rectifying my every affair. But little did Muhadith know that the three years time period in his life after accepting Islam was only the calm before the storm. The former bad boy rapper was on a trip to Brussels on November 22nd, 2011, when he was arrested and sentenced to 14 years in federal prison on charges of conspiring with the intent to distribute drugs. After being arrested, Muhadith declined to go to trial and is currently facing the consequences of a minor role in a drug trafficking ploy. To this date, Amir Junaid Muhadith maintains his innocence. According to Muhadith, in my life back in 2008, before Islam, some individuals crossed my path and they were interested in the music business. At some point, these individuals contacted me for something that was completely away from my lifestyle. But the fact that I responded to these individuals placed me underneath the radar of conspiracy. These individuals had conducted several different crimes that destroyed a lot of lives in North Carolina. He added, The case was stacked against me partially due to the prior felony convictions. One at the age of 18 in 1993, and another one in 2006, 
So with two felonies and trying to take this case to trial against the United States government and a number of informants who wanted to give me a leadership role in a conspiracy that I had nothing to do with, I would have been looking at my complete life in prison. I got swerved into this situation and I had to accept responsibility for this minor role. Amir said I saw no other options. It was one of the hardest decisions I ever had to make in my life. It's unfair that Amir's circumstances had turned against him. He was put in jail for a crime he had nothing to do with. And we can't help but wonder if it's up to us to choose our life or is it our life that chooses us? However, with Amir Junaid Muhadith's release date, August 2021, right around the corner, we're hopeful that the day is near when we'll be listening to more of his stories again, in his own words that don't rap anymore.